wasn't happy that I didn't kill Barnum. I hope his testimony was worth the trust it cost me. After Ellsworth, Washington and I traveled to the JBA headquarters in New Orleans. That's where I met the family. First up was the man in charge, Emile Dufresne. I remembered him from Iceland. Next was his lieutenant, Carson Moss. Can't say we hit it off. The person who was going to handle the weapon was Enrica Villablanca. She wasn't much older than my daughter. And finally, there was B.J. Sykes, the techie in charge of their security system. One man I didn't get to meet was Cole Yeager. It seems Dufresne was afraid Yeager was plotting to take over the JBA. So he sent me on an errand to pump Yeager for information, hoping Yeager might try to get the new recruit on his side. On my way to see Yeager, I had an opportunity to sneak into the compound's restricted area, so I took it. Lambert, come in. Sam, what's your status? I'm inside the restricted area. I managed to sneak in undetected while running an errand for a meal. What's new at home? You brought us some goodwill at Ellsworth and kept Barnum alive. Good job. I stashed your equipment already. Did you find it? Yeah, I got it. Wasn't easy to snuggle in, though. So what's the plan? Intel. We set up a surveillance grid on the outside. But the JBA's electronic countermeasures are keeping us from hearing anything on the inside. You may have noticed some problems with your equipment as well. We need you to tone the jamming down by reducing its electricity input. Blueprints indicate the compound has been rewired so many times that each area is now regulated by a different fuse box. Find all four boxes and tap into them. There should be one on the roof, one near the entrance, one in the warehouse, and one in the loading bay. Their location is on your mini-map. Anything else? Yes. If someone spots you, or if they detect the drop in their grid, the new guy is going to be their first suspect. You can't afford that. While you're there, find ways to prop up your cover and divert suspicion to someone else. Neil is already suspicious of one of his people. Cole Yeager. Hmm, if that's the case, Yeager might be useful to us. Send me any info you find and we'll go from there. Lambert out. Moss is not happy right now. That's all right. Emil isn't happy with Moss. With what happened to Jaeger, do you blame him? You know what this means? Moss is gonna be working double hard to make Emil happy. Which means we are gonna be working triple hard to make Moss happy. Good guess. What's up, ladies and gents? Sinistrain01 is back at you with more Tom Clancy Splinter Cell Double Agent for the original Xbox. This is the JBA Headquarters Mission Part 1. Um, this is, of course, this 100% stealth walkthrough on the expert difficulty. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the walkthrough so far. I know it's been a few weeks since I got to put out the last one, but I'm really trying to kind of just separate these videos so that when Splinter Cell Blacklist comes out, you guys still have some awesome content to see and all that stuff. So hopefully you guys don't mind the wait between videos, but I really want to give you a reason to keep coming back to the channel. So uh, the reason that I'm up here and doing what I'm doing already is I pretty much got this planned out. Something that you get to do that's really, really cool in this mission that you don't get to do at all in Splinter Cell Double Agent is actually interrogate Carson Moss. Now what's really cool is that the game actually lets you do this. Um, as you can see, he's right in front of us. And how cool would it be to actually get to interrogate the number two boss, you know, at the first JBA mission. And it doesn't give yourself away or anything like that. So I thought I would give it a try and just um, to see what information that we can find out. And to kind of give myself a little bit um, more difficulty to the actual mission. And hopefully you guys appreciate it. Uh, this is Nothing here a but fairly easy shadows. mission um, as far as uh, missions that I've done for Splinter Cell. But it's really cool nonetheless, so... All clear. Of course, you want to just wait. You got to be a little patient, of course. We're going to actually interrogate him on the way back. So once he heads back towards this direction, then we're going to grab him. Um, you see the camera's up there, and we don't want to kind of give our selves away. Make sure you don't get too far ahead, or else the camera will be able to see you. Surprise. Who the hell are you? A music critic. Now tell me how Emil gets around the compound so fast. You have to be kidding me. I'm head of security. I know, and I appreciate the job that you do. Just wait till I get loose. A tribute for good. You're not. 
funny, and I will catch you. So you can go ahead and take him out right here. The guards won't come back up here unless they actually spot you. And of course, the camera can't see you from where you are right now. So the reason that you want to wait right here is because of this guard that's over there. Um, he will be able to see you once you go into that room. Uh, it is a very, very lit up room. And we, of course, we'd want to go through this without being spotted whatsoever. Now, I've made this level just a slightly bit more difficult because of what I've already done. Because I've took the risk of taking Moss out, of course. And, of course, that throws off the timing of everything. You can get through this a lot easier if you actually just don't worry about Moss and you wait for the right time to go into the room and you do all that stuff. But I like difficult games and I love stealth games, so. So just wait till he heads down the stairs. Once he is down the stairs, then you're free to do whatever you need to do inside this room. And if you want a warm and fuzzy, you can go ahead and hide Moss's body inside the room as well. But you do want to be rather quick on this here. I love the way that they do this in this game. So much better than the 360 version. You guys can read all these emails if you want. Of course, I'll take a look at them when I look at it on YouTube. And as you can see, we've completed an objective, which is to plant the false cover. Make sure you stay as close to this as you can because the guard can still see you from downstairs. And we have done our second out of four fuse boxes. Now wait over in this area. All right. Stay back a little bit. We're going to wait right now until the guard is in a different location. Because if I try to get outside this window right here, he will be able to see me. Now this is an opportunity for me to go ahead and say, it's July 4th. The fireworks are going off as we speak. And I'm here giving this to you guys. Um, I will. I do have to work this weekend, so um, I'm not sure how many other videos I'm going to have the chance to be able to put out to you guys. So I wanted to take this opportunity and just say hello and uh, happy 4th of July to all my friends out there. Doesn't matter if you're American or not. Hopefully it's going to be a great weekend for you, and hopefully you guys have lots of fun. Now there's different alarm stages uh, for different levels. I don't know what that guy's doing. But I assure you nobody saw me so we should be good. But what you want to do is take out this light here. Wait till he gets up the stairs far enough. Stupid damn thing is broken. Now remember this camera can see you through the dark. Which is why we did it this way. Now as you can see here, the different alarms, if you actually do create alarms, uh, this place gets a little bit harder for you to actually maneuver through. So keep that in mind and try to remain as stealthy as possible. Alright, so we're going to be moving on to the third box. What's he going on about this time? He says we got us a spot. Some guy is supposed to be running around knocking people out. Didn't Sykes think that last week? And the week before. Still, he was right about Jaeger. Jaeger could have had I'm working for the feds tattooed on his forehead and been less obvious. Sykes is just paranoid. Alright, so once he turns around, go ahead and move. Make sure you stay in the darkness. We need to do this rather quickly because this fuse box is actually lit up around it. And the guard will be able to see you no matter where he is if he is looking in this direction. So we've got to be quick. All right, now hurry up and get back against this wall here. As you can see, he's already looking in this direction now, so you do not have very much time to do that correctly. Now I'm going to show you the night vision and kind of what happens. As you can see, there's a lot of, as Mei Ling would say, harmonic resonance. But there is a little ladder here that you can climb up. That way you can shimmy along this ledge here. There's a camera below you, so that way the camera can't see you. And as you can see, there's a little thing that we can jump on once we get over in this area. I just want to show you so you guys know the route. And there's a back area into where the final fuse box is located. 
make sure that you actually, when you jump down, you put your direction in the direction of uh, where I was just at, so you can make sure that you actually grab what you need to grab instead of just falling to the ground. Alright, so we're pretty much already halfway through, although the uh, most difficult part is not up yet. But here you got the opportunity to save, so you have a little bit less to worry about. However, I am not going to save. I'm cool like that. This is a little difficult because there's nothing that you can do if the guy is actually looking in this area. And he's not, so we've got Lucky right there. Go ahead and head towards this direction and behind here. You can actually climb up on here, but you want to wait because there's a light up here. We don't want this guy to see us, so make sure that you go at the right time to where he's actually not looking over here. And we can grab this last fuse box, which is actually going to open up another objective for us that we can't do until we have grabbed this last fuse box. And there's no light around it, so you can just go ahead and get up on it. Job's done, Lambert. I got the fuse boxes. Good. On to your next task. Make it quick. I have to get back before they find out I'm here. I know. But this has to be done right. It's too important, Sam. So what's next? Find this server. It's probably on the second floor of the compound. Once you're there, open up a connection to Fort Meade. We'll sift around this system and see if we can find anything. On my way. Alright, you want to go do this really quickly. Because there is another guard that's in this area. Alright, we're good to go. And we can complete two objectives here. Can open up connection to third echelon and the security access. Really cool stuff here. This is the dirt on Cole Yeager. Looks like he's plotting to take over the JBA. I'm not sure Emil will like that. If I send this to Emil, Yeager's dead within the hour. But if I send it to Lambert, there might be a chance to extract Yeager and pump him for information. Now what I feel would happen in this situation if I was Sam Fisher, I feel that he needs to send this to Emil. He needs to get the heat off of him. He's the new guy, so everyone's looking at him to be, um, uh, who is he? Is he a traitor? What, you know, what's going on? So if we get the uh, attention away from Sam and to this other guy who's actually planning on overthrowing him, um, I feel that is what Sam would do in this situation. So we're going to send to Emil. This is Emil. If anyone sees Cole Yeager, tell him I want him in my office. Now. Can I get back to the public area before your absence is noted? Now this part can be a little tricky. Now go ahead and get against this corner here because there is a guard that comes up and down this hallway as you've already seen and of course we don't want to alert him. He will come over in this area so once he gets over here just head a little bit further back and he should be fine. You just got to be a little patient because we don't want to take him out. Damn it! What's wrong with this? cynical, but I wonder if all these promises will have any meaning after the election. This is actually a secondary thing that you can do. It's not even a part of the mission, 
Uh, you can grab Emil's fingerprints here. That covers Emil nicely. Now, however, you do need to grab Enrique's fingerprints, which is in the uh, the next section up ahead. Of course, wait here for this camera. Now, I recommend not shutting that door only because if you do shut the door, it can create a little bit of noise for that guy to turn around and see you. Go ahead and grab some emails here. Now, there was some emails in the other room where that guy was, but there was nothing that was important enough that you needed to get. You got what you needed, and uh, we're going to do the same thing here. I think I've got enough on Enrica. Alright, so we've actually completed all of our objectives. Now, we just need to get back. There's a few different ways that we can do this. And I'm a little undecided which way that I want to do. I don't hear any footsteps, so we're going to take the more difficult route. And yes, this is a lot more difficult. He doesn't see anything, but you gotta be quick. Sweet. Now, if you don't know where we are, you're gonna find out in just a second. You can save your progress there if you want. You gotta be quick here because sometimes there's a guy and sometimes there's not. I hear footsteps, but I can't tell where it's coming from. All right. Alright, so it looks like we're uh, we're gonna make it. I took the more difficult route back. Just because I thought uh, I need a little bit more of a challenge, but we're gonna find out how we did here. Alright. Time to extract. Job well done. Alright, so let's see how we did. Completed all the Echelon objectives. Uh, the only one that was cancelled was the Send Info to Lambert because we chose the JBA. Uh, opportunity objectives, we scanned Enrique's fingerprints. As you can see, it did not say that we needed to scan Emil's, but we did that extra so as uh, we don't have to do it later. Um, and of course, we planted false information on Carson. And as you can see, we did this 100% stealthy. Um, the only enemy that we actually knocked out was Carson, of course, and the only reason we did that was just because we could, and I wanted the opportunity to do so. Now, also, as you can see, our trust meter is all the way up there still, very confident with the NSA, and that's usually around where I want to be. So there's going to be some things that I'll do for the NSA, and there's going to be some that I'll do for the JBA, but uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Again, don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe. Um, if there's anything that I could have done better, please uh, let me know, because I really do appreciate everything that you guys um, help me out with. And for those of you that are still watching, I want to go ahead and put out um, uh, Illuminators, of course, for uh, making the intro for me, and also don't forget... Um, Dynamic Gamer 87. Again, the, the descriptions under the video will actually have their channels. Check them out. Uh, subscribe to them. Really want to uh, thank for all what they have done for me. And it's it's, it's so cool to have great uh, fans and subscribers out there. I think we're all just a part of a community and we're all friends. And uh, I would like to thank all of you for watching all of my videos and hopefully you enjoy them. And again, thanks a lot and we will see you next time. Peace out. Bitches!